how much will a seller negotiate? This is a great question, but I'm going to tell you a secret of the industry. A secret of the industry is sometimes the sellers are heavily persuaded by their real estate agent. Here's what I mean, folks. The national average list price to sales price is 96% of asking. This is Joe Platts with the Platts Group, serving the greater Seattle area and the Treasure Valley in Boise, Idaho. And I am here to share with you right now about why you might feel like sellers are not realistic about their price. You see, friends, here's what happens. We end up with an average list price to sales price, and, and everybody's looking at that. The realtors are looking at it, the home sellers are looking at it, and maybe even the buyers are looking at it too. And then some weird language shows up, language that honestly I don't even understand as a professional with 20 years worth of experience. And that language is on the buyer's side, a buyer will wanna make a seller an offer, and it might be kind of aggressive, and the agent might say something like, well, it's not really worth writing up because they don't think that the seller is willing to negotiate. And then let's say that I am helping you and we decide that we really think a property makes a lot of sense, but we think that maybe the seller is a little, a little high and we want to make an offer that we feel like is more in the market. And then here's what happens. Sometimes the seller just takes offense. I mean, they just do. They think their stuff's worth more than it is. Or sometimes their agent says, oh no, no, this isn't even worth countering. And it's the oddest thing because the brokers, the realtors, we're there to help a willing seller and a willing buyer get to what we call a meeting of the minds or mutual. And when that influence of that real estate professional stands in the way, all of a sudden, deals aren't made. So here's the pattern that we see. And we have to tell our buyers this, and we have to tell our sellers this, if, if this is what we know to be true. And that pattern is this. A lot of times, if the seller is asking more than what the buyers in the market believe the property is worth, then they'll wait until the seller adjusts the price. So what happens is, is when a home stays on the market longer than everybody expects, a label gets put on that home. And that label is, there must be something wrong with it. Here's what's wrong in most all cases, price. Because you can sell any piece of real estate for the right price, and so what we find is, is that there is sometimes a hindrance to what we would call arm's length negotiation, not because the seller isn't willing and not because the buyer isn't willing, but because my colleagues who have the same license in their pocket that I do are actually interfering with negotiations. So I wanna encourage you right now, Q4 of 2023, is a huge opportunity to get some of the best deals possible. And, and based on what we see projected for inflation and home appreciation, and that that is being held up by a low supply of inventory. Our experts are saying that, that the builders are not going to make up the inventory gap. And because of these reasons, this is why you might choose to make some offers right now that make sense for you and stay diligent, stay in the market until you find a seller that is also as motivated as you are to figure out how to make a deal. Lock in your price today. Bet me dinner, coffee, a, a, a bone-in ribeye, whatever you want, that in three, four, five years from now, you will look like a real estate genius. Music